Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here, my name is Reagan. So we're going to be talking about 10 more best products from 10 brands. So this is all makeup related and I'm actually going to apply a lot of it and most of it with you all. I wanna do it kind of an interactive style and I just wanna to say, today's video is about the makeup. My hair does not look that great. I'm too lazy to style it. Straight up, I was watching some Instagram stories the other day and Ted from Buffalo Beauty Boy was talking about how uh, his hair is what looks good today, not his face, so focus on his hair and that's same goes for me, but opposite. Like I'm doing makeup, I'm not doing my hair. So yeah, uh, let's just roll in and we'll start talking about 10 best products from 10 more brands. So I have a part one to this. I might do another part because as I was doing, like rounding all the makeup up and thinking about stuff, there's just a lot of brands out there that I've tried quite a bit of stuff from. So there might be a part three to this eventually, but I had 10 more brands and 10 more products I want to talk with you all about. So we are here to do that. I might actually put this around my hairline. So maybe that'll kind of distract from my crappy hairstyle. So yeah, let's just roll in and start. Pretty damn good, pretty damn good. Okay, so. I'm not wearing my glasses, so I need to use the opposite side. I've always had this Ikea mirror, like for the last 10 years. Would highly recommend. Very great mirror for like the price and everything, but I need to use the opposite side. First thing, concealer. So I was thinking about this from Juice Beauty. So I've tried quite a bit of their products. I have a way old video. I think it's from like four or five years ago of me just reviewing like the whole line because I worked at Ulta and I picked quite a few things up when I was there. Well, this one's actually a repurchase for me. It's their concealer in shade Buff. So this is a very, very pale shade and it's pretty waxy, but it has pretty good coverage to it as well. So I think it's great for under my eyes and I do like the formulation of it. So it has kind of a drier finish. I did start my base skincare off with an oil because I knew this had a drier finish. So I wanted this to be able to move around pretty easily. But this is, like I was saying, very, very pale. I think it's one of their best makeup products because I was thinking about all their stuff and I've tried their mascara. Initially, I thought it was crap, but then they sent me a full size one because I only had their mini when I first tried their stuff. And the full size one was like a mid, like nothing crazy, nothing awful. I've tried quite a bit of their lip products, which kind of same thing where it's like, they're decent, they're pretty good. And their CC cream is is pretty good, but I'd actually think and say that their concealer is just better. I think the pigmentation in it is better. I've tried their serum foundation like way back when, and I did not love that. So I have been pretty impressed with the concealer. Like I just think it has nice coverage. It looks a little more luminous because I have that face oil on, but I think it's a bit more of a satin matte, which is my favorite finish for base products for my skin type. So let's just do some glamour poses of myself so you guys can see how the finish of this is. Okay, and foundation. So EXA. I've tried quite a bit of like the few products EXA has. I think they just have the foundation. They have those like multi use color creams that I did not like one little bit. I was not impressed with those. Do they have much else? Like they have a primer. I don't think they have too much else. They might have like one or two other products, but their foundation is one of my favorites in clean beauty in general. It's like $35, which is a mid price, definitely not drugstore, but it's also not like $70, $80, kind of up where they are, excuse me, with the other more luxury like Westman Atelier, Kiara Weiss and all of that. So I have shade Joshua 520. And another thing I really like about this is they have a really good shade range with it. So I have to make sure to really shake this up. And it does have kind of like an orange scent to it as well. And it feels pretty watery on the skin, which my skin loves water. So if you have more like dehydrated skin, this is where it's at. So I just did one pump and where'd my brush go? And now I'm just blending this out. 
But what I like about this is the finish. I would say that the finish of this is very similar to the original Vapor Organic Beauty Foundation, which was my like ride or die all time fave. So I know that the ingredients are different and they do have more tones to this product for sure, but the finish is very, very similar. Like it's a little bit on the dewy side, but it doesn't make me look uber oily, which I appreciate. So just making sure to get it all blended out. Like I only need that one pump. Here's the deal though. You need to shake this up before you use it because this does have oils in it, even though it feels more like watery on the skin. It's, you know, most foundation products have some form of an oil in them. So make sure to shake this up. That way everything, you know, gets all blended together. My mom texts me one sec. This might actually be a good foundation to get for my mom because we were, I'm just thinking about this as I kind of am patting this out. So my mom, I had her using the vapor foundation and she loved it. So I think she'd really like this and she'd like the finish of it. So that's just a side note. But overall, I say it's like a medium coverage. It has a more dewy finish to it. And I wanna say that very lightly. I did use, again, a more oily skin base. I knew I was going to because I was gonna use that Juice Beauty, but it still does have a bit of a glow to it, but it's not overly oily. So I just wanted to emphasize that. I like how it looks on my skin. I think my skin looks very pretty. Um, it doesn't settle as well. That's another thing that's really important to me because I do have like one line here and then my lines that I have right here, I think these are the nasal labial fold are getting a little more pronounced as I'm getting a little bit older. So that is something that I definitely look out for. And this one doesn't, doesn't give me that at all. So, okay. And next thing that I thought of, Plain Jane Beauty, I've really liked their setting powder and I, was just thinking about it because I was looking through all my makeup and this is the second one that I have had. So I've had two of these and it's just been really good. It has a locking sifter with it. It's a little bit tinted. It is a sheer translucent setting powder, but a lot of skin tones can use this. And because I want to maintain that like dewy integrity, I'm going to focus more on just my T-zone where I get more oily during the day. But this actually adds a little bit of coverage for me because of that little bit of like, I'd say it's like a half level of pigment that they've added to it. And I just like how soft and lightweight it is. It doesn't make my skin feel super heavy. It doesn't look really like powder cakey. I hate that look. It just looks like nice and again you can still see that like glow peeping through and I like this more than I've liked any of their foundations. So their foundations, I do like their stick foundation and it is, it's a pretty darn good one but this is my favorite product of theirs and I've tried quite a few like I've tried their eyeshadows which are good. I'm trying to think if they have a mask, I don't think I've tried their mascara but I've tried all of their foundations and I just think their powder is like really where it's at. I will, their primer is really good too. I really have liked that and I've had two of those as well. But this one, great product, great product. And let's do another like glamour. I probably look like weird as hell doing this, but whatever. Okay, and I realized in my first one, I did not talk about Westman Atelier. So I'm pretty sure this is their bestseller and I see why. So this is their petal blush. And this is one of my favorite products from the line. And just thinking about it as like a whole, I'm starting to like wear my blush a little higher up, especially when it's a cream like this. But thinking about like the brand as a whole, I do really like their lip suede, but this blush is just gorgeous. And it has gorgeous packaging, very luxury. It is very pricey. I'm well aware of that. I'm just gonna use my fingers today. But the texture of it is just freaking beautiful. And it just looks really, really nice on the skin. And the shade, I just think is such a nice pinky tone for my skin tone as well. And I have used my stippling brush, which is like a ride or die brush for me a ton with this, but it works nice with fingers too. It just has this nice like slicky feeling to it. So yeah, it just adds some nice pop of color to the cheeks without being 
too much, you know? And yes, the packaging is a huge part of this brand, I think. I do wish it was refillable. I've heard whispers they're going to be ref like making the packaging refillable. So we shall see, but again, one of my favorite products from the brand, like overall. Okay, highlight. So, okay guys, so this guy, this is my highlight. So this is Double Down's The Light Highlight. This is a magical powder highlight. So it has a nice locking sifter with it. And I just wanna find a brush. So what I really like about this is the shift in it. So it looks like it's going to be just like a white highlight. And this is very important to me for highlights and when I think they're really special. So why I think this is their best product is it has this kind of like cream shift to it that has a little bit of green to it. You can't really tell once it's on the skin, which I like because I like to have like a very like just put together polished neutral makeup base, but it is a little something like it's a little pop where you're like, oh, like if you get up close to my face, it's kind of like, oh, like there's a little something more going on there than just like a, you know, a little pop a highlight. And it's not sparkly as well, which like I, I really don't like really glittery, chunky highlights. And yeah, I just think that is beautiful. It is not too like in your face but the shift that it has is really, really cool. So that's why I think it's their best. Their highlights in general are really beautiful, but this one's my favorite because again of that like green shift. It almost reminds me of the Ritual Defeat highlight, but in powder form with like its multi-tonal shift thing going on. Okay, and then eyes. So Rowan, this 1111 palette, and I think I did a whole video of their products at some point. If I did videos like about the whole brand, of any of these products I'm talking about, I'll have them linked up here. But they are not in Sephora anymore, but I'll say they have some really good stuff. I think they're at Blue Mercury now. These palettes are great. They're great like one and done eye look kind of palettes. I like this 1111 one because I like the shade. So I'm taking this pinky shade and applying it to my inner corner. Like, look at that. Look at that shimmer. And they have a really interesting texture and consistency. So they're pretty waxy, but it's like a dry wax. So they're not really creamy. Like they look like, oh, that's like a pressed cream. No, they're a little more waxy than that. So how they sit on the lid is pretty like, I don't wanna say they don't move at all, but compared to some other creamier products I have, they do not move around as much because of that waxy texture and consistency. So this is just one that I really liked and I wanna use another shade. So these are my two favorites. I love this like lighter pink and then this more like taupey shade. So I'm going to use this on my back corner just to kind of smoke everything out and I can just use fingers with this. Something I've realized though is I've noticed a lot of brands leaving Sephora and as a very small brand founder myself I kind of have been curious like why so many brands leave Sephora and this is just like off on a random tangent as I use my Meissler water to clean my fingers. The reason is though, it's very expensive for brands to have that retail space. So I've heard that what happens is like Rowan or let's say Farsali or one of those kind of brands that was more like the indie kind of clean brands. What they'll do is they'll enter Sephora for like a year or so and get the brand recognition and then they'll pull out because it's just too expensive for a brand that's that small to be in this like, in that kind of a retail store where it's very expensive to be in retail, especially at that level. So just just kind of an interesting fact, you know? The more you know, guys, the more you grow. Okay, just wanna finish cleaning off my fingers. My fake nail fell off. Well, that's nice. They were just glue-ons, but it's what it is. Dang, I really, like my eyes, this is a really, really pretty look. Okay, and I was thinking about it brow-wise, and I have two brow products I wanted to talk with you guys about. So I have the Kosas Air Brow and then I also have Merit's. This is their blonde volumizing pomade and this is truly the best product from Merit I think. Like just a standout product. Their lipsticks were really nice but this I just think it has such a nice consistency because it's creamy and more dry. It's not super liquidy, so it's like not going everywhere because I've tried a lot of these kind of like spoolie 
brow products and this one's the easiest one to work with. I would actually go as far as to say it's like one of the best like brow spoolie combos that there is. So just a nice, nice shade for my brows as well. And I have a bit of a bald spot at the front of my brow so I just want to work that in. So it's just like the right shade for me. I like the texture of it, the consistency, how it sits on my brows. Again, it didn't go everywhere. And I really, out of all the Kosas products, and I would even say because I found lipsticks that I like more than Kosas. I actually really like the Wyatt Beauté lipsticks more than I like Kosas. But the Kosas Clear Brow Gel is one of their best products. So I'm not going to use it today because I don't really need to, but I have it here and I just want to show it to you all. So. It's just the perfect, really liquidy aloe consistency, but it doesn't sit on your brows and look wet. So it does dry down. It does tame the brows very nicely. I like the size of the wand and it's a basic product. I get it. Like this isn't the most fun, crazy Kosas product that there is, but I think it's like their best one. And I put off trying it for a while because I was kind of like on a Kosas break because they were just releasing so much stuff. But I picked that up. I think I got around the holidays and I have or maybe after, I don't, sometime around then. But I've been super impressed with it. Would highly, highly, highly recommend, like 10 out of 10. Okay, and then mascara. So I've tried quite a bit of Jones Road Beauty before they kind of, I would say more hit it big. Like now they're in Credo. A lot of people know about Jones Road. It's Bobbi Brown's clean makeup line. And I didn't like their big bomb pot things. I just didn't. If you like them, um, I, you know, we can still be friends, but they aren't a favorite product of mine. So their mascara though, gorgeous. So it has this really thick wand, so volumizing. Like, let me put it on this side and then we'll compare to the other side. Like this stuff is so good. Their eyeliner is also a really nice product too. But I would say their mascara is just like next level like omg guys like it's just perfect it's defining but it's also volumizing which is pretty rare actually in clean mascaras that i've seen i've seen them where they're either very volumizing very defining but finding this middle ground has been really hard and i've loved this mascara it doesn't smudge on me oh just such a f good one my lashes mm, just perfect this is exactly how i want them to look all the freaking time, like kind of feathery, but defined, volumized without being clumpy. Best mascara, I'm even gonna just say it. Just best mascara is so effing good. I drop something, happens. Okay, and then last but not least, let me just make sure this equals 10 products because I don't wanna be at like nine or 11, you know, I wanna be right at 10. So this is one of my favorite vapor products because it's really basic. And that's actually how the, like this whole video kind of went down. A lot of these products are really basic, but they're just really damn good. Let me remove the foundation from my lips before I use this stuff. Okay, so this is Vapor's Hush Luxe Conditioning Tint. And I love the shade of this. I love how big and thick this is and I love the tone on my lips. So this is a little bit deeper of a shade than my lip tone but I just think it's really beautiful and I was thinking about all of Vapor's products and I do like their Velvet Glow foundation like I do but I was really thinking about it like they're discontinuing that so my favorite product now from them is this balm. It just feels really nice, moisturizing on the lips. It adds a nice hint of color. Like I really think this pulled the whole makeup look together and it just feels really, really nice. And I do like their highlight and bronzer, but I just think this one stands out a little bit from like all my tinted balms. And today I went through and like reorganized all of my lip products. And I was looking at those and I was like, those are really, really good, especially for a tinted lip balm. And they're almost like a lipstick, like border borderline like bordering on a lipstick because they are pretty tinted and pigmented as well so yeah okay guys so I will let my hair down and out I mean it's not amazing but I'll try and do something with it not as bad as I thought it would be 
But again, focus on the makeup, not on my hair. So guys, this is just the final look using these like 10 more best products from 10 brands. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you don't feel the same way as me, that's fine. These are just my opinions and what I think looks best on my face. And I'm loving this makeup look. Like this might be my look for like the next month because it was really easy and I look really put together. I'm hitting things, smacking them out of the way, but yeah. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day or evening wherever you are in the world. Bye guys.